This is the tutorial for Tomb Raider 2 glitchless and you have to play on UK box for this to be fastest one. And uh, the way to start the Great Wall, there's two ways, I'm gonna show both of them. One is you hold up key and start jump after you land and jump again. Or you hold up left, roll. And then jump instantly when she lands and hold up right and then jump. So it looks like this. And then the sequence is literally the same to this point. Jump twist. Jump twist. Aim at this little seam here. And then climb up. Great wall is very, very simple. Easy peasy. Now, you don't want to jump against the wall. You want to have a little gap between it. So this makes... It works. Nice one, Poppy. <laughs> and I'm gonna link in the description, like, the mechanics... For Tomb Raider 2, because I'm not gonna be asked going over them for the millionth time. Hey, Souls me. Actually, this one. The way I like to do this is... When I jump... Heavy pursuit. I like to hit the wall or the door. I have dr guns drawn out because there's a camera. Aim at this corner and run off between like these little two dots here. And then jump twist. And it works most of the time. And then even if you don't get the good outcome, hold down left and the game will fix you. Fix your position now. Uh, most of the time. Watch that. What is that? Gonna save here. There's two ways of doing this area. Uh, first, you wanna kill this spider, or try at least. You can do jump on here, turn, and then do a jump. It's a bit blind, but it's okay. And the next one, the easier one is you kill that one, jump, and then you do this way, which makes it easier. Uh -huh. And then drop down, delay your action, and then roll. And here, save here. You wanna jump after right after this one. And then when you jump, delay the next one so you can land on this one. Because if you jump too early, you hit the ceiling. So it's not very good. So you need this ammo and the med. Pull the block. Oh, I mean, push it. Oh, nice. Jump. Here, you want to jump right at the edge. Either swan dive or just delay grab. Both works. And then stop just after the. Um, slope starts. If you go one further, when you do this uh, neutral jump, hold down key. So I'm gonna show it. So when you go one further, you get damage. So you wanna do down key, so you get away from it. And the same goes if you stop a bit too early. You, when you jump, she might not dive. Well, now she did. She might not dive. The way to fix it is just hold up key and she will die. Please come again. Yeah, Fussy. Congrats on the TR1 glitchless recce.
Yo, Helium Team, thanks for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for that. So here's standing jump, draw guns for camera change, cancel. And go against this wall, hold right, roll, and jump. Hey, fetch, thank you. Hope you guys are doing well. This is simple, hard, draw flare. Jump on the left side of the slope, and actually I'm gonna show. And here, now I hit the ceiling. If you don't hit it, you have to manually grab it, so. Like that, and then you just, you need to turn a little bit. Like this, and then turn, flare cancel, run jump. If you somehow mess this up, all of this, you can do this. You get on this one and then wait a little bit and then go forward. I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Jump, jump. Now, you can jump, you can see these seams here. You can jump from here or somewhere here, depending where you want to. But I usually jump here. But it can also be thrown off by a sequence. You just want to find a consistent visual for this. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just run off the... Uh, not off the edge, on the edge. Healthy. That's great, well done. Easy peasy. Venice. Killing this dog is important. Basically, you need it to be killed, or you just rely on luck. And after killing... I'm gonna do this again. When you get on this tile, you start walking, swap to shotgun. You only walk two steps, because that will delay the dog. Um, that will delay the enemy spawn, like the club guy. So you take shotgun, walk a few steps. So the dog comes first, so you can kill it instantly. And then you jump onto this one. And now, there's a few ways of here. You can either just go on here, backflip, get on the pickup or the button. Or you can turn, hop back. You have to learn how much to turn. And this one is a small turn and then down left. Uh, now the position for this next jump is around here. Like for one step from this seam. So somewhere here. So when you get out. Stop. Turn. Her middle part of her head, a little bit to the left, like this, and then running jump, hold, hold right, simple. Now, again, there's a few ways of here, depending what your confident fit. If you want to do the, and. N so-called YOLO, you want to jump on this line, it's like a third from like one, two, three. And depending where you la jump, you have you can adjust when you land. If you jump early, it's manual timing. If you jump a bit after the line, you can curve and then jump. So it would be like, that's a good one. Or, if you don't want to do that, you can just get on this, climb up, hold walk, down key, and then just no grab. You need that little push back forward after you climb up onto it. Here, standing jump into running jump. Uh -huh. 
and then standing jump and hold action. So you fall in the water. So here, there's a thing can happen. You can either go too far here, like she can't climb up. Instead of doing sidestep, do this, like turn a bit left and then neutral jump and hold up key. And she will get up. It's faster than the sidestep memory. Climb up. Now the worst part, which is like the enemy shooting at you. You can either get on the boat normal way, which is surface on the side and get, or you can swim like this, clip on the boat. Is the volume good, by the way? I can fix it if it's not. Save here. Noise. You wanna jump onto this wooden ramp? If you are too close, HMR. If you're too close, I'm gonna try to do it. Okay, that's still still work. Sometimes if you're too close, she jumps into water. So make sure you have a little gap. Even like this kind of gap can work. Yeah. Kill this guy. And we'll show the. Uh... So when you get on the wooden ramp, all you have to do is land on this tile, like this row, here, and it will open the door. Jump. You can shoot. Jump. Twist onto it, and then swim out. Super simple. later jump and you can surface on the behind like at the behind of the boat and then hold action hold up key and then left or right she will clip onto it and this is pretty much Venice in a nutshell if you have to heal you can or you, I would recommend him. You can jump a bit later as well. And now, last optimization you can do here is fast surface. For some reason, if you surface at the here or like somewhere here, you can start running instantly. Like this is the normal animation, very slow. But if you go at the right spot, come on, can I do it? I can't do it. Or as heck. Like that. You have to surf it just before it. But you have to be like... Okay, it didn't work on that one. But still. Now, when this level starts... If you don't hold or have action, I do spam action. Look how long it takes Lara to move. Like ages. You can also hold a roll. But if you I just spam action, and you can start instantly moving. Jump. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> It's important to have one rat dead there. Okay, I'm gonna actually show here. Shoot. And when this guard gets to this line, you run towards him. So you so he dies on a certain spot. Kill the rats. If you can't kill the rats, 
what you do, you hop back like this and then shoot them. If you can kill them, you do backflip twist, little hug on the right, and then you can land on the pickup. Uh -huh. And then this guy would appear on this corner and you would do backflip twist, start shooting him. Aguila, ATK. No. Oops. You wanna do one neutral jump and then two side throws. And then ignore that guy. And now you wanna jump on this line. This line here. So. Jump and jump, and this is the hardest part to like get the muscle memory off. Jump and then jump, and then you have to learn like the curve to get on the lever. But if you don't want to do that, what you can do is hold pistols. And use that for a line, but it's a bit slower. Just don't fly your flare. Uh -huh. Kill this guy. One thing I will tell to avoid: if the guy is somewhere here and you are like, like here where the camera is behind the a window, you can somehow break the window sometimes. And then that ha like the these dogs comes and it's it's just awful. I don't know how it like how to make it consistently work. It just happens sometimes. <laughs> and now, what's the sequence here? You jump from this, this tile, on this. I used to like I like to jump like a second. Uh, like whatever line. This is one, two, and here. So land pretty much on the Eroki. You get in the right spot. That's too early. You wanna land your left foot inside of this dark. Then yeah, ladder is pretty good. Hey Ryan. Hey Carl. And this one, easy way is to do side flip. It will give you a better camera. To jump. But faster way is turn and do this, which is harder. But whatever works. Then you can see the seam. As long as you are around halfway like this, you can do the backflip twist. Just hold right and draw a flare. And here I like to aim on this light spot. Like this. And then roll off the edge. Don't, don't grab. Ignore the first one and then Jump with on the second one. Nice, Ryan. GG. You wanna kill these guys, by the way. Not this one. Take a shotgun. And then, at this point, when you run out of bullets, press number two, so she doesn't take pistols out. And you wanna push this one on the right side. <laughs> hey, Hollywood. Then you can press number one to draw pistols. And then do standing jumps. Uh, I like to jump around here. Like where this little dark line is. And then jump instantly again. Uh, what I do is a lot. I try to land here because sometimes you get stumble 
And if you get a stumble, you can roll cancel instantly over the corner. So, let's see. I'm gonna jump here, like, early. Oops. Super, super early. That's way too early. You should never jump that early. Like this, and then you can cancel it. And now when you land, the next rank jump has to start on this line. So, line, standing jump into running jump. Go on the left of this paint. Or like more to the left than the mid. Kill this guy. You can sidestep to the right while you do that. Let's get this annoying level. We don't talk about him. Little optimization, <laughs> rolling over the edge. Um, now, easy way of doing this is you can do this. But also, there's a way. Where you jump onto this, go on the edge, like l use Lara like a <laughs> ass basically to the uh, corner, and then do it one jump, and then jump and late, late grab, and the last one is this is the hardest one of all, will kill most runs or like a lot of runs. So the way I do it is the first jump starts on this little, you can see quite easily, this dark line. I land on this one, like a middle, and then I take three to four steps. It's hard because you can't see the, uh, the corner exactly from like here. So you have to jump towards the corner. And get a, like a jump where she jumps a bit over it, and then late grab. <clears throat> Takes probably the most practice. So jump, three steps, and uh -huh. uh. it depends. If you land really far left, you have to take four. Standing jump. You can do that, or. And do standing jump and just remember that the fireplace oops fireplace uh, I'm gonna show these don't have collision so you don't have to avoid them you basically want to aim go aim to go through them like so Yeah, there's three ways of dealing with that chandelier chum. If your needs for meds, you can kill this guy. He drops so small. And one strat is if you want to avoid a med. You can jump up here, wait behind the corner a few seconds, and then run past these guys. But usually, you have the small med, you just take small, and then get pushed and rolled, which is so normal. But you want to jump up here. Um, the way I do it now, just go through them, you, get, you will get rolled. Um, if you jump too close to this corner, the, you get stuck on the door hit. Wait, did I get no grab? I did, easy. That's an IL strat. Um, you don't want to go too close because you will get stuck on it. I'm trying to recreate the stuck, but if you get stuck, let's just... Oh, I'm getting stuck on something else. 
I can't replicate it, but you will fall into water. You just climb up here. Hey, Shubi. And then backflip twist. And climb up. If you get the uh, normal way, the sequence is a bit different. The save is a bit scuffed. But you climb up, and you will get up, up, all the way right. And then running jumps all the way here to the left. Little weapon turn. Full action enough. And then you can cut this corner a little bit and use a flare here. Also, the flare route I'm using works best for me, so. Now, it shows Venice as a name because I skipped the stat screen so fast. But beginning of this is just standing jumps, standing jumps. And you can keep running. You like... Uh, you. You want to land on the middle of it and tap up and then standing jump. If you're feeling like a giga chat, you can go for this where you grab right on the corner right away and then you can do a standing jump instantly. Jump twist. I'm getting destroyed by this guy. Hit the wall and then land on it. Sometimes the guy will troll you. Oh my. <laughs> nice nice start for this level. <laughs> now you can st stop and do standing jump on lever. Oh, lever. Ladder or it's just running jump. Doesn't matter. Hey, so. Standing. Uh, Jump here and then standing jump off on the slope. And then running jump with a grab. I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Hope we are too. Here standing jump into running jump. There is certain sequences which can be improved, definitely. I tried my best to uh, running jump, and you wanna jump. Can I look? You wanna jump somewhere here, like after this little line. When you jump, you can land right on the spot. But it doesn't matter. You can be a bit more to the right, and it's, it will still work. If you go too far left, she will not put her legs on the ladder. So then you just climb up all the way top. But if you get this outcome, go one, and then backflip, jump, standing jump again, and then running jumps. Shoot this twat here. And I like to jump on a third line. Which is here. Didn't have health to show it. So, one, two, three, and then you jump. And then you're gonna grab it. Rolling up grab again. You just have to walk through this class. You don't really have meds to just tank it. Curve jump, not much to say honestly, you just go for it. <laughs> Here you hold down right, back foot twist, and jump. If you do this fast, the cycle is always good. But if you do it slow, you might get hit. 
Also, if you're really against this corner and you jump up, you will escape one of the main enemies. And if you're very low health, it's I think I would look at it your advantage. So stay away from the corner. You can skill still skip it by accident. Okay, I didn't skip it now. Yeah, you land here. If the enemy is shooting at you, you can roll to get the aim lock off. It doesn't work sometimes, but if you are not getting shot, you just turn. Run up here, jump on top and die. Wait that little step. If you jump too early, you will stumble on the last jump. <clears throat> and here's one of the most annoying little jumps you can do. You can do a running jump. That's too much left. But then you, you're still safe. If you aim it correctly, you can get a really nice running jump sequence. But if you are not comfortable, you can just do a walk and jump, which gives you way more leniency. And here again, two strats you can do. Uh, this is the easy one, you backflip twist, standing jump, up the wall and standing jump over. This is the easiest one. But the fast threat is roll, running, jump, roll, and jump. And that's the highest chance of stumbling, and you have seen probably me fail it so often. Running, jump. Go straight here, jump over, save time. And now, stay at this tile so the guys will run at you faster. And then go here, jump over. If you go straight up here, it's it's just about RNG how fast they come like like you can see like this guy just is not ignore He's not interested in he's just ignoring you because for some reason these tiles Here makes the AI confused like they don't know that you are here in the room Like it's so dumb So that's why you wanna be on here get them close then run and then running jump and if you do my flare out you can have a real flare here flare cancel here if you do the flare cancel Remember to throw the flare just when you land and you have guaranteed no flare pickup Sometimes Lara will pick up the flare if you throw it too early so it lands on the pickup So Jump throw a flare Pick the guns Double pickup, yeah coming so hopefully if the guy is on the balcony you can start shooting at him but you have the you can have the RNG where he starts running away and that that will lose you like 10 seconds you can wait up to this point and then you start shooting at him and it's the best one So this guy takes 13 shots 
and then you fall in the water. Oh, I didn't save. But yeah, you wanna shoot 13, and then uh, the 14 should kill. But sometimes the double pickup is not worth it. Sometimes. Let's see if I can get the different outcome here. See if the guy is shooting at you all the time from the balcony, like this one should be. Okay, this can be a good one. No, this is a good one. Heros. Get the key card in. And now, if you are if you're good with your meds, you can skip this next bunk bed med overload, but if you're starting I would say pick them up. Standing jump, running jump, and then land onto this. Oh, I can't save when you're doing that interaction. So, there's two outcomes you can have there here. When you're standing jump... Okay, this is a good one. You get standing jump into running jump instantly, right? Like this. And second one. Sometimes the second guy on the door goes right instead of left and blocks you. Then you just have to go like here. And ignore this... Uh, so that's jumping through. You have to go like this way. Just run and then jump. It will lose a little bit of time. Okay, now if you want the meds, you go here and you have to be fast. Go on this, tap up and then hold right to get against the wall. And you can just shoot these guys. into one pile and it will give you three mets so sometimes they die exactly on the same spot but now if you do okay i'm gonna actually climb up onto this if you are at this spot now and you do roll and then action lara will actually pick this one up and miss this one what you wanna do is roll, tap action, but don't hold, and tap forward, and it mm. should fix it. Not this time. <laughs> but if, also, if you wanna make it sure, you can just turn around, and then it should take mm -hmm. it. But this is like the dumbest pickup thing ever. Like, you get, you just get chipated so often with these three, if they're not on one pile. But yeah. You can do this. Go out all the way up and grab, or do this and then roll again and then pick it up. Um, now if you take these meds, you can just take these ones instantly. Uh -huh. Roll, jump, pick this one up. Hit the ceiling. Running jumps. And if you're not taking these meds... Where is this save? I forgot I saved. You would climb up instantly on the button uh, platform. So you would do running jump. Climb up. This one, and press it, hop back, turn, land here, take the pistols and running jump, hit the ceiling. Um, this actually really cool, I'm gonna show one more way. Because if you're really wanting to optimize this nonsense, you can do it. It's very annoying jump. So when you land a running jump, you can jump onto this bed. 
AD coin. We can jump onto this bed. Right next to this like bed. Um, it's blind jump again. It's so dumb. But saves like a second or something. But when you land on it. I don't want to pick them up. You land here. You can you can do a, run, a running jump up here, which skips the climbing up. But I would say it's a, a bit tricky, a bit too tricky. But if you get it down, clap. Eddie, hey, going. Running jump, jump twist, two backflips. Hold, don't hold a jump because. She will uh, get stuck on the ceiling and you don't travel that much. So when you drop, if you don't get the stumble, you can backflip, turn, and just jump on the middle. If you get the stumble and you backflip then, you will get, like, the result will be like this. So you basically just want to sidestep and... and do the same, standing jump. Here, automatic pistols, standing jump in the running jump. Seven double shots. He should die, sometimes it takes eight. And now, you can skip the previous flare earlier on this level in the plane and use it here where you just do a running jump and flare cancel this. Or <clears throat> you can do from left to right curve jump, grab really late so you don't bonk. But you can also do it without grab. There's a snow to yourself. Even if, um, let's say you will, you have to grab really early. Let's say you jump this early. You just want to grab anyway, yeah, and you get hard stumble. It's better than dropping into water because it tells like 10 seconds. I'm doing a tutorial, like the title says, so grab. Jump. You can fit one running jump before this, but you can bonk also, so I tend to avoid it. Delay your jump there a little bit. Get the guns out. Dog should take three double and the guy should take five. Hey, go in. I might do it, okay? I might. So I'm doing... I switch to pistols. And I rush this guy, just run behind him. And... And you push this block. Now this is the worst outcome. Actually, which is good one to show. So if this happens... You just wanna roll off this edge. Don't, you don't normally want to do this, like, roll, jump, but most of the time you get blocked by this guy. Like, the pathing path is just so awful. You would do this normally. But if this first guy comes through, I would just roll off this edge and then go here. And then pull it. Jump twist over the fence. Push this one. Now there's only two enemies, but if you didn't if you didn't kill the bunk bed enemies, there's five of them possibly. I'm gonna show this. So when you enter the room, the first guy coming towards you has a med. If you want to pick it up. The guy from behind has a flare pack. 
and when you come up here, you wanna jump from this line, then you can get over this stupid thing. You have to be straightforward though. And land on the left side. Back to twist. Don't go near the corner, it will possibly skip the trigger for this guy. Yeah, I might play an unfinished business at after I'm done there with this one. I promised I would do this after I PB in TR2, but I never did it. And here, if you get this outcome, just hop back and walk and jump. And a bit to the right. Um, this will lose like a little bit health if you drop. Just very little, so don't worry. Oh, if you get this outcome, and jump. This corner is a super sticky one, so it, it is annoying. Really annoying. Get in the water, don't hold left or right. Just don't hold left or right. So you don't get angled swim or something dumb. It is a thing. And then you climb up. This is where the setup begins. You hold up key all the way around like this rusty mark. So this side flip. You can tell by this gap if it's good. Like this is good. If it's too it's if it's too big or if you're against the wall, you did something wrong. So now there's few ways of doing it. One is um, you do four buffers, so go inventory, one, two, three, no, that's not the right way, I missed it, <laughs> I think it's, hold on, there's a flare way, I can't remember how to do the flare way, one, two, three, four, and then on a fourth one, you take a flare. But again, this is low. And then you hold action. The faster way is have pistols. And then you just buffer three times, hold draw, drawing guns. So one, two, three. And then you keep holding them. Or like the drawing. So. When she puts them again uh, in the holster, second time you hold action. That's the fastest way of doing it. So, one, two, three. You can YOLO it, yes. But it is one frame grab. <laughs> None of this cheating nonsense, right? This setup is probably harder on controller because of the uh, so many inputs. Am I gonna edit this? Probably not. I don't really care. I will put timestamps on it though. Diving area. This is an easy jump or a swim. I have issue with words today. So you want to go around 45 degree angle and just swim straight right after the lever. You start holding it and then you start going it and like. You just squeeze through the current somehow. It's weird. Hey Gloria. And then two ring jumps and you can jump just before this line or yellow line. And you wanna shoot 
one of the guys at least a few times. Like that. Because it will mess up their AI. And they start running around. If you don't shoot, there's like 90% chance that they will block you. And... I just shouldn't have done that. I wanna do the glitch there. Even though it's glitchless, we are not doing the ladders here. <laughs> if you cut this, by the way, too much, you will get clipped by it into the acid. Do that. Yeah, you want us to climb up. It's boring as hell. Fake tutorial. True. But yeah, when you land, you turn. It's just running jumps. Jump twist. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, this is one of the annoying parts land on this slope is you have to be on a certain angle because if it goes too straight you will miss it so just land on it go backwards tap action if you happen to go forward gonna go forward you just hold action and then jump twist shoot this guy a little and then you would jump up here. Or you can just shoot this guy instantly. And kill him. If you want safetyness. Uh -huh. Turn late grab. Yeah, stop me to run and then tell that it was super scuffed tutorial thing. Everything was so garbage. <laughs> Look, I'm climbing it. Now this level is very, very straightforward. There's not many strats. Okay, rookie. I'm not going there. <laughs> running jump. You can do three running jumps and barely get the turn. The risk is sliding down. If you did the strat where you on the first down, you get here, and you, then you shoot a little bit to the guy, jump the keyhole. Come here, and then you would kill him. But it's dependent RNG, like how much health you lose or time, so... Take all the pistols. Two running jumps. You can start moving on the second kill. Like, after first kill, I mean. So it's like... I usually time it by three shots, which is normal kill time for these dogs. And if if the, the the guy shoots, you are like this, and then you can just try to curve to the right. You can sometimes miss the fire. Thank you. And sometimes the dog comes from here. You wanna shoot before you use this one? Use this valve. Here, I, I try to stay all the way up. 
and then just hope he misses a lot of harpoons. For this lever, you can tap look to skip it, but you can also just hold right and swim. You have to learn the timing for it. Watch that one. Sometimes the guy comes through that door, by the way. Glitchless. Standing jump, there's one dog alive. I wanna hug the right side. I still got hit and if I if I'm this low I usually heal small med I want to have at least health for one shotgun shot because most of the time they will hit me of course not now but And here, five shots, and then six. I think that's six. Okay, I'm gonna actually show. If the guy, the first guy dies here, don't even try to go for the double. Just the AI messes up. Like, the club guy will run, like, here, and then he will go here, and then he starts to targeting you. Like, it's just not gonna happen. So... Jump twist. I don't know why the AI padding is so broken in certain places. Rookie, are you doing any percent or glitchless? We saw you play yesterday. We saw. We were stalking. Let's get that one. We don't need shotgun anymore. I like to bump into this. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> so you can either turn and use this or what I do or for every like where I have to block like if I have to do some interaction right on the left or right I do hop back and then just like this it's actually like just barely slower I believe for same time like very no not you can't even notice the difference all right Koi. ready I hope this is helpful, even though it's sometimes a bit all over the place. So after you get past this corner, they will shoot you once, and then you go down. If you're very low health, what you need to do is go down, and then wait these two shots, and then come back up. If you're high health, you don't even need to like dodge any of them. You can just go. Yeah, well. I still did it. Uh, you wanna climb up close to the right side? I'm gonna show you one instance where this game is weird. If you surface too close to the wall here, it will push you very far away. Not now. Sometimes you can end up all the way here. This corner pushes you here. You climb up, right step, look upright. Stumble, roll, step forward, and then look upright, and then running jump. Will work every time. And now we get to here. Okay, Marco. If you do climb up very l right here, you can fit, here, fit three running jumps and then jump. But if you're climbing up very left, like here, 
Your three running jumps might make you go really far forward. Just remember that. Blood or answers. I have no preference. You should spill a bit of a blood. Okay, Marco. And then the first enemy you wanna aim is the, the machine gun guy. Should take five shots. And then next seven. Well, that was opposite op order, but <laughs> works. <laughs> but sometimes you can miss up to five shots there. Like, it's just horrible. This one, just all the barrels. Learn the right direction to go instantly. Um, yeah, I know. Just a bad timing. For, because the guys sometimes run weirdly, okay? She targeted first the guy, but then changed the target. So if you swim and you try to cut this corner, it's actually worse than going over here and over the anchor. Because when you go here, the hitbox pushes you all the way like against the wall and then it's slower to get the, um, the swim underneath the thing, the doorway. So. You wanna do go over here. Eroski by the way. Straight into this corner. You can get faster uh, here. And then you basically dive instantly. But if you had a really unoptimal lines, you might need to wait a little bit. Because it happens naturally first. Most of the time. That's why. <laughs> Just a simple thing. So the guy literally appears first. <clears throat> Not really bene time beneficial, I guess. I mean, there's no benefits other than he just appears first. Climb up around this thing. If you go too far right, when you do this, the side flip, you will bonk. Here. Curve left, and then running jump again. Please come again. Yay. Yo, Mikey. Thank you. Three months. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And if you bonk, I'm gonna go here. Well, can I get like the weird bonk angle? I can't even replicate the bonk. Monk as. Well, you would get on this edge anyway, and then side flip again. <laughs> but yeah. Jump, roll, curve left. And then. I wish this was transparent inventory, by the way. I like to run off. Near this end, like a corner, towards this middle part. And don't roll, because if you roll off the edge... Um, oops, I don't have momentum. I'm gonna roll. Sometimes the roll gets you like here, like over this edge, and then you fall. Just do this, hold up. It's one of those rooms where you just randomly take sometimes five shots. Your face, and sometimes zero. And here's one beginner mistake I see a lot, a lot of the time. People jump around here, like too early. So they would jump here and then catch fire. You. Or they do go too far. Or they like um, like this. But they basically catch fire too early. You can save if you jump just before this line and you don't bonk here. You can skip the, uh, getting fire. And it will save your health.
Now you can do a roll, hold a roll and look, which gives you the best turn. You can also just hold left and swim, and then up key at the some uh, some time. This is based on muscle memory, so you just have to learn that one. The similar thing is here, but I'm not. I just do the roll strat here. I get stuck on the wall so often. Yeah, it is. There's a strat. It's used for Nola's nomads. Where you don't get set on fire. Running jump, player cancel. From left to right. Walking jump. If you fail the drop, the run is basically over. I mean, then you just have to do intended route. Which is low as hell. You have to visit this area again later. And now, there's a cool jump you can squeeze through here. Uh, I use a visual, like here, this corner, the dark black spot, is my cor uh, visual. So, I would hop back, run, and jump. And it's so precise, like, I don't think anyone is super consistent with it. You just have days when you get it, and days when you don't get it. But if you drop down, I'm gonna do it without with it, by the way. Jump here, and then just hold forward. Don't press action, by the way, just bong. I wanna do it because I wanna show the strat what to do after. Like this. You need to curve right and hit this wall. And then like this. Because otherwise you go too far. Backflip twist. Jump and jump. Um, sometimes you get stumble, but if you mess up, Emak, you can go onto this, and then you have to grab. And also, one strat is um, if you so come on windows, if you somehow overshoot this corner. You can just get on this block, and then uh, jump twist onto it. Those are really nice uh, backups. So you don't have to like, try the same thing a million times. Hey Jerry. Weapon turn into backflip twist. Jump before that step. So you land on the edge and then standing jump. Draw a flare. Pull the lever on the left side. Because then you can do a walk and jump. Roll. And sometimes... Sometimes you land on this step and not here. Same thing, you just roll on this slope. Run off this. Flare cancel. And now comes the funniest part of this run. No kappa. You just run. Don't do a running jump, it's actually slow. Um Hey Vaser, I'm gonna show you, if you get shot and killed, say on the second slot, let's say you die here, just hold key, like up key, don't do anything else, just hold it. You would hold up key and she would die, and when she dies, she, she still runs forward and falls forward. You can still trigger the end of the uh, level. So. Yeah, death exit. And the fastest start for this level is... You can just do this. 
if you want. Or you can do standing jump, left, and then jump on third step. And then hold right. You can get here. You wanna draw a flare early? Get this thing. Now, if you're not really good at this next drop, you can do a consistent one, which is like side flip after rolling and then hold up key. This loses you less health or consistently. But the thing is, you drop here and then you start turning. And after she has finished the turn, you roll. It's timing based. If you do it too early or too late, that happens. And I'm gonna do the too early one. This one happens. And then you just have to take the drop. You have to time it properly. And you can pick this up if you need to. Oh, it's kinda slow pickup. But we are picking up all the backup meds so I can show them. And now this room can go so many ways. <laughs> what I want is this club guy, when I'm surfacing, just entering the tunnel. I don't want him to be there or I don't want him to be far away. So I want to shoot him a few times. Then I change the target when I go past him, shoot the um, machine gun guy, and then shoot the shotgun guy, and then you turn around, start holding walk, and walk towards the club guy, and shoot him. So, shoot him a little bit. And that's it. Hey boss. Uh -huh. That's the basic idea every time, but it can be really weird sometimes. And this. If you don't want to do the, uh, the, the YOLO jump, you can jump onto this edge and sidestep and then pull it. Uh, with a little practice, you can definitely get the uh, hang of the uh, running jump on the right spot. And heal large, always large first. And now, you can either do this jump, this is the safest one by the way, and then roll, push, or you can do Timmy strat. I learned this from Timmy. Turn. And then roll. You have to turn quite a bit before you hop back because the fire can really kill you. Roll and die. Not die. Yes. Uh, the hell. If you don't have a small med. You can have around this much health and you survive this part without the med. But if you have a small, you can use it already. Normally you would need to take one hit only. Um, did I save before? I want to show the uh, how to avoid getting hit. Need to save more often. But yeah, you can avoid getting hit by this guy if if your line is like here, or like really close to this corner. And running jumps, bump onto him like like that. He will not hit you if you go too much left. Please hit me. But he 
Usually it just preemptively hits you. Okay, that one. You wanna avoid that one, so... Just bonk into him. And he gets confused. And if he does that, where he doesn't stop at the lever, you can just do a normal turn without hop back. If he gets... if he stops, you wanna hop back. I hope it at least some things people find useful. <laughs> this sequence is awful. Standing jump, running jump, and then you delay a little bit. Delay it a little bit and then keep it again. Keep holding. Take all the pistols. Shoot seven times. And we will pick the med later. <laughs> this next door is time, so... Uh -huh. If you miss this pickup by like a lot, then just go for this... This room uh -huh. first and then take the med when you exit this room. Hop back, up left. <laughs> Throwing jumps. And now, when I do the running jump, I take two steps on this tile. The first one which tilts like forward, so two steps and then I would do back foot twist. Yeah, and you can land here, like in the water without bonking your head. Rook is still just ignoring every question about him running glitchless. There in this level, ring jump, jump. You can start with standing jump or running jump, it really doesn't matter. It still gets the similar thing, uh, sequence after this keyhole. If you push this one on the right side, you can do hop back and then like instantly get on the lever, uh, lever yeah, or whatever switch it's called. Hop back turn. And now, there's few ways. I think this jump saves one or two seconds. This is the easiest way. Jump to the middle. But if you wanna do it a bit risky, you jump off this corner and late grab. You have to learn the visual for it. So you wanna land here, just on this corner with a late grab. So you look like this. It looks scary. But it's actually not bad if you like try it a few times. If you're very low health, what I would recommend is either hug the ceiling like this, you avoid the hit from it, or you just hold up key and like basically sniff the floor or the ground.
No, it's not. I've never managed to at least. I can show, try it, but maybe with like a really... Like, corner bounce. Yeah, you can barely make it with a corner bounce. You, like, you don't want to risk it. Like, you don't... It doesn't save time if you have to set it up. So you just... Just want to go, like, a little blind. But yeah. Oops. The living quarter save. Yeah. And it's like, if you get a good corner balance, you don't have to delay your grab super late anyway. Yeah, it, it, would, it will get you quite a bit of uh, distance anyway. M16. Uh, I started to pre-fire this guy. Like, I start holding action just when I land on this little thing. Because drawing time is... So I will start holding that. And then you land on this. Alright, puppy. Running chump. Running chump. Roll. Now, if you're not comfortable, you can kill these guys with M6, not M16, auto pistols, but you have to pick extra ammo later on. Or you can pick uh, ammo in Maria Doria. I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend killing, uh, killing them. What you want to do is go to the right, like where I went. Go right and then left. You can get past this shotgun guy, like, every time. It's because if you go, so, so, like, instantly left, super early, the shotgun guy will path towards you and block you. Now it's... Just, he's just wanting to shoot instantly. But if you get blocked, it's harder to get over the barrels. But yeah, right to left. Jump. Then you want to do a running jump on this line, like here. I'm going to show the other one as well, to jump, land in the corner, up the wall. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can do this. Okay, I think I have a bad out time. Don't. This second guy should never. You can do a walk and jump, or you can do a standing jump. But the standing jump is a bit sketchier. I have some weird ass pathing from these guys. Yeah, <laughs> I can't even do it. Like the easy, easy strength. I suppose it's easier if you kill the enemies. But you would do a walk and jump from that climb up position. But this guy should never be killed. And yet somehow he's trolling. Like and he's like actually ruining it. I don't have ammo to kill them. Draw flare. <clears throat> flare cancel. Now if you wanna be swaggy, you can do this. And stumble. You can land on the corner or overshoot it. Like it's actually precise. Like even if it's consistent. Because if you go too far left, you go over. You can use pistol, yeah, and lose so much time, but you can kill them. But if you don't want to do it, just climb up here. Also, if you fail this jump here, it loses like 6 seconds compared to this one, it's so bad. 
Watch and jump. Roll over the edge. And started walking. You wanna avoid rolling around. And even if he's like really close, you just keep walking towards him, like against him. Yeah, I don't. I've never had any issues with the uh, slower strat. Like, I used to do it with the uh, Nola's Nomads as well. And, the, like, the white shirt guy was, like, the issue. Now, from this position, you can do a side flip into uh, roll. Or if you're f far enough right here, you can do a standing jump. No stumble. And also, if you kill those two guys in the fire room, you could pick these up. It's only single, I believe. Still. Roll. Jump. You can, like, land and then tap forward once. And this is the safe one. Or you can't miss this one. If you want to YOLO it, it's a bit... Monkai's. Always stop forward, uh, backwards. Backflip in the roll. I have no idea what is wrong with my English today. Backflip twist. That is forward jump twist. Holy. I'm saying exact opposite. What I'm supposed to. By the way. Don't get stuck on these doors. No, I don't speak Swedish. And Klantia. <laughs> so roll, go up to the ceiling. Jump here. And now... You can get a nice slide here. If you hold left and you are turning, like you're holding left, you can get angled uh, slide. So... You can't. You go from right to left, which helps you. Uh, usually, you want to land somewhere here, and then get the angled. If you're against the wall, it's kind of bad. But the two ways of doing this is like this: slide a little bit and jump to the right, or do this. You can land on the collapsing floor. You hit that ceiling, it's even better. And YOLOing this jump is quite a bit of practice, I would say. Hey, in invulnerable. Because, like, you just have to learn the muscle memory for turning. Um, if you don't really mind. Let's do this stat. You can run up here, stop, and then kind of like a set it up the angle you wanna you wanna do. You you can climb up after this seam instantly. And then you just have to curve a little bit to the right. Take him 16. Nice guy. Blast this guy. Okay, so now 
I have a tutorial for this jump as well. I will I will link it. But basically I just kill this guy. This little triangle is where I jump from, like this. And then I just hold jump. But if you don't wanna do it, you can go against on the edge. Hop back, neutral jump, and late grab just before you, you hit the uh, wall. God, I'm awful. If you miss this one, you go here on the edge, and then uh, you do this. You can also do this without a neutral jump, you have to manually late, uh, delay your jump. Yeah, let's see the triangle, and I, then I can hold. I can just hold a uh, jump key. Jump was here. If you miss this jump, you have to kill the guys. But I line up with this pillar. And then I hop back and start holding right just when she's about to jump. And then really late grab. Even if you're like a bit off, you can still do it. Also, if you grab really close here, don't do this uh, grab cancel. You will drop down. If this happens, you just take pistols or something and kill these guys. I used to save on this jump. Come on. I'm doing like super late turn. You take auto pistols, kill the flame of the road guy. This guy. That was weird. She's not supposed to aim this guy. Alrighty, Aquila. <laughs> Up back. Go on the edge. Jump. If you somehow need or uh, M16 ammo. You can find double pickup from here. But if you take it, when you get here, you have risk of getting shotgunned. And then you have to heal. Um, this jump. I jump one step past this line. Onto this edge. Um, if you fail it, there's a backup. Which is... Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Can I just... <laughs> I go here, and then you slide a little bit, and then hold left and jump. That's the uh, easy way of doing it. Hey, Ashi. There's a one thing, though. When you do that, you will spawn a flamethrower guy. Earlier than you want. Uh, when you get here, this guy spawns, and when you get down at the end of the level, you have no idea where this guy is. So it can be a bit risky. Jump. Jump. Just pass the uh, line. Take M16. Kill that guy. It's important that he dies. Flare cancel early. Take M16. Start pulling the wall. And shoot this guy. If you get hit once, it's fine. Totally fine. I'm good, I'm good. Hey, Shadow. You can still make the drop. If you take two hits, 
or even one shot can hit. You have to heal. I'm having a good one. Thank you. <laughs> Trying to do something for this game. <laughs> Jump at the edge. Not cancel. This is a sequence I mess up quite often. So standing jump to the right, then running jump into this corner, and then jump later. Like, this is important. To land on this corner. So if you overshoot, you take a little bit damage. You can still take the drop. But, just don't overshoot it. Like that. In the corner, or the edge. If you know you're gonna miss the um, edge, let's say I jump here already, I would just grab cancel and then just go forward. Then you go forward here on the middle, like on the middle of the block. Good morning, Dang. If you go too far left, it won't work. So here I would grab. Middle, forward, turn, roll. If you grab really late, you can cancel the stumble and then you can just roll off here. Now, don't jump when you're on top of this one. You will stumble. You just want to wait a little bit and then jump. Uh -huh. Grab the med. Uh -huh. Use a large med. And then you just make it your way back up. Crap cancel. I want to go a bit outside here so I can fit my last running jump. This guy. Get up on this corner. If you don't want to do this next jump, you can just climb up here. And then back, back foot twist. Where I'm about to jump, like here. Because this jump is one of the like one of one of those jumps you have to learn the angle and you will still fail it sometimes. It's a bit tricky one. Hey you. And yeah, here when you side f side flip, you wanna turn a bit to the right, and then do this. And just go jump late, grab late, jump up here. Now it's important you you trigger that first tile, but you don't you don't break this one because now after this button I can just turn and do a running jump. If you break this tile, you have to hop back and do a running jump. So I'll do this running jump. Pick these up. You need this standing jump. Just hope you don't get hit here too much. This is just praying. Like actually praying. I like to climb up very right here. It gives you a bit more distance if there are shotgun guys behind you to shooting you. And jump. If you somehow fail this, oh yeah, I forgot. I was gonna say, shotgun guys can shoot through these walls, which is extremely 
Holy shit. <laughs> Luckily, I have a heal. They can shoot through. Like, these that just don't exist, okay? Um, but if you fail to jump, you go against the wall and walk and jump onto here. And now, there's two ways of doing this one. Easy one is roll. Run. Go on the middle of the slope thing and roll off the... You land on it. Yeah, it, it's horrible. If you want to do it, you can turn a little bit. And then running jump. It requires quite a bit of uh, like practice as well. Uh -huh. When you land here... Running jump, running jump, flare cancel. Now this is something I don't know. People fail. Jump one step past this white line, like the second last, and you will always land on this slope. That might be too late. No, it still works. Land. land um i'm gonna sh if you have this much health like let's say you lost 30 percent before the first drop you can still make this end of the level without taking a med so i think it's important to know how much health this one loses like very little very little this next one loses like 55 to 60 percent. So one step. Jump on the edge, late grab. And then there's like this little dark spot. This is where I jump the next time. I like to have uh, consistent visuals. Welcome back. That's too early. So past it. Lake grab, dark spots, don't grab, just roll. And now you want to choose M16. Um, you can make this last jump if you have this much health. So take M16 and then flare. If you're not comfortable with this flare cancel, you can skip it. And just take the stumble. The way you would do it is like just this. Land, walk and jump. Shoot, shoot, and that's it. Don't shoot midair, never, by the way. I'm gonna show you why. Okay, I got a few hits. Somehow this RNG is still working. But most of the time, the guy you shoot will get on this block. Clip into it, bonk here, and then flame you when you land. So, don't do it. The flare cancel will go... You will flare cancel just when her legs... Hits this box. And... You have to do the flare cancel early. So you would do it. No. Start holding walk and then draw gun. It takes practice because there is a lot of the um, inputs. Yeah, you shoot them. Uh, can be, but it's like it's just a random. Um, uh, well. Only time that guy is a problem is when you are at the platform where the pool. That's the only time. But when you jump down and flare cancel, it can be right next to you and flame you. If you spawn it. Eight times. Other than that, it's... It's fine. 
if you know that you spawned it, I would recommend saving for the jump. And here, you want to do just running jump, and then running jump just at the edge of this little triangle. And then you will land on this pickup. Uh -huh. And then you want to hold jump right, action. Take a flare, walk and jump. Uh, now, you can use a flare here if you want. But what I like to do is I tap look. So you can see her ha arms. Let me. Can I click out of the game fast? I can't. I can't do it. I'm gonna do it here. This is the. Okay, you can use Lara's hands or arms as a reference when you can grab. This is one of the last frames you can grab before she goes to free fall. When when the hands are on the uh, shoulder level. That's what I use for a visual for this first jump cancel. So that's too early. But it you just have to like learn the timing. Because there's the camera can camera you have to cancel at the same time. Like that. Jump on here. If you jump too early like this, you will trigger this boulder and then you just do that. Go here, jump, like a neutral jump. Um the way you can avoid that is also make sure you jump like one step past this lope thing here. Or you overshoot this jump. So jump slide all the way to the top like end and then curve right right at the end of the jump so you skip the trigger for the boulders um there's few ways of dealing with this i'm gonna save it there so i can show the uh few different ways i trigger them there's like a safe one and then there's like good one if you get that scat stumble, just take it. Okay, now this one is good. So, your running jump after landing will land somewhere here. Uh, you can see the seam here because there's a little held forward here. If you jump one step before the seam and you go like literally on the middle straight towards this boulder you will not get clipped by the boulder rolling towards you i'm gonna show you that so one click now and then you hold left when you get over and then you side flip get here um this is how i made it consistent just one step before that seam straight towards it not that one. Too far right. If you go over the big boulder, it will clip you. <laughs> you want to go in the between. Um, if you don't want to do that, you you don't want to care about it. You just do running jumps straight up here. You can either go against the wall, turn around, jump twist, or when you get here. You roll and side flip left and then do that. There's multiple ways you can just do it. You just have to like experiment with them. What works. Running jump. And then now the next running jump, you can do it instantly or at this little gray dot. If you do it here, it's more optimal, but it's scary because you can overshoot it and die. But if you don't want to do that, you can just do running jump there. 
here, here. Now you take a flare out. Uh, I'm gonna actually show the spot where you wanna jump from as well. You wanna jump? Around here, like few steps away from this one, where the seam is. If you jump from here, you can land pretty good on the uh, straight up jump if you wanna do it YOLO. If you wanna do it safe way, just the higher you are, the easier this is. You jump, late grab. But you have to, you want to land on this higher step instead of here. So jump, and then would, if you want to yolo it like that, you just late grab. Use her arms again as a reference point. When the arms are at the shoulder level, you can grab. And obviously the later you jump, the more lenient the grab is. If you jump where her step starts like, I'm gonna start it really really early. Like that, that's really early. Then you have to grab like super or super late and you can still die. That was a miracle. Okay. Go forward once, like when you land, two moves, and then standing jump up here. If you somehow don't like this, what you can do is when you land, go a bit away and then running jump up. What it, what it does is it skips uh, these two guys. You don't want to trigger them. Skidoo time. Rat jam. Also, I'll, I see people with skidoos taking a route outside of this, like steps. But you can actually just cut this corner here. And then hold the boost key all the time. Um. If Skidoo is jumping or about to jump, do not hold left or right. Because it will like this will happen. Like there's no control over. So boost up here and then turn and just go. I'm gonna show how I do it. So I would boost here, let go boost, turn, boost again, and then I'll hold up, down, no, down right. Um, only hold it if you're not going too far. If you go take too far, the skidoo will go uh, over the edge for whatever reason. Like this. What? Usually the, cor the edge sucks. The skid do and then fall off. So, if you're landing somewhere here, then you can do the down right. You get the quicker turn. Jump. Down right. Grind some edges here. <laughs> some task strats. Down right. Now, what you want to do is kind of stay on the right side, because when you land, you can actually start holding down right again, and turn instantly. And then you can use uh, the visor or whatever with this corner as a visual, and then just hold boost. Don't hold boost here, because you can get stuck weirdly. Boost all the way. 
Now for glitchless. You wanna park it. You don't wanna park it right on the scene. You wanna park it like this. A bit away from it. Backflip. Uh -huh. Little curve here so you don't stumble. Standing jump. And now roll a hold action. If you parked it here, I'm gonna show it actually. I'm gonna clip up and I'm gonna show you. So if it's too close, So let's see, I'm here now. <laughs> if I do the jump twist, hold action, she can go over it and then you can't get on the Skido instantly. What do you do that? 10 is just roll and hold roll and then action. Um, so now roll. Hold roll action. Now the the fun part. Seven second time save. If you can get this canyon jump. <laughs> if you can get it. The key for it is I'm gonna actually stop here. You wanna start going like this line. Start curving left on this slope, the first tile. And then when you go left, you quick turn right, like you let go of up key. You turn, face this way, and then just up boost. It's um, you need the momentum like this. If you don't have the momentum or the speed, you can't make it. And if you go too far left. You, you risk hitting the pillar and if you just don't want to do it, you just go for the normal route Which is this way Okay. Also, if you save up for this canyon jump, it's not worth it anymore It's only worth it if you get it first try and then you, you will lose time If you're not consistent with it There's no way you should do it I recommend practicing at least and learning and trying it out. If you can make it consistent, then it's a good one. Don't hold boost here, you will explode otherwise. The first big jump. Welcome back. Find a line where you don't jump. If you go too wide, you can jump onto wall and then you lose a lot of health. The main key is just don't hit the walls, hold the boost key, full speed. Now, here, I like to park it around like this little, I don't know what dick this is basically. Somewhere around here, next to key. Um, then you do a running jump from here, like there's a little corner. From this, you jump on this little standing jump, stand running jump, running jump, and now you can do a really late jump from the middle, land really far, but you just see me here. And also, if you land really on the edge, don't hold action. Only start holding action now, after you land on the slope, and she's going backwards. And this one, the way the game, the way the game works, if you're past the middle part, you can climb up, and the game will not get you on the slope. Running jump, jump. It's going to YouTube anyway. Get onto this pickup. Uh -huh. The guy spawns instantly when you are on the tile. 
Not the pickup itself. Important. Only start going forward after the guy has turned right through the doorway. So, I'm gonna show what you- This is if you go too early. Nope. That is so lucky, man. If that happens every time, I would feel so happy. Okay, this is the normal one. You get stuck. But if you wait... You wait the sound of him shooting and then you go forward and then you uh, it's 100% consistent. Just wait the shooting sound and then go forward. You can turn around. I'm gonna save actually. What you can do is like, you just wanna turn around like this. Don't move. Um, you this thing. Yeah, I know, Poppy. I see that well. <laughs> Not a secret. And he's overly positive. I already checked it like way earlier. Get here. And then from this one, aim here. You can use the visor again with this corner. Now there's easy strat and then, well both are easy but the other one is consistent. You go here. You go here. And then uh, past it. The other one is go through here. The thing is, you have to clip this. If you miss this edge, you will die. So, you need to hit it. In order to make it. Park it. Back will twist. You can take M16 here. Or auto pistols is better. Doesn't really matter. If you can kill a bird. Fine. I'm gonna kill it. One is good. Because uh. There's too many enemies and one of them will be deloaded. Otherwise. Pick these ones. Uh -huh. You don't need to pick the Uzis here. You can use a small med. Pretty much wasted. Yes, you you will get 100%, like, there's a chance that you will get 100 to 0 under a second and you have, like, no reaction to it. Like, basically, it can shoot you while it's, you can't even see the enemy, and they do, like, 100 times more damage, or faster, than normally. I can try to actually show it. I can probably create it. So yeah, if you're like 40% health and you, you have both birds near the hut, you can pretty much be sure that you will get killed if you don't heal. So you wanna heal. Even 80% health is like a butt clench. <laughs> it's so annoying. <clears throat> You can tone it down, new account. Now both enemies are alive. It doesn't happen always, but it's very high chance. I'm gonna try it. Try to showcase it best way. Uh 
So I'm gonna heal anyway. Okay, all of them are spawned. One bird just missed, disappeared. But trust me, you can get instant killed. Okay, now one, one is preloaded. Like, did you see that? I lost the health. You don't. You can't. You don't even see the health bar losing. It can be ten percent health loss. It can be hundred percent. It's like, it's so crazy. Like, look at this. Oh, now he's gone. But yeah, it's just crazy. Uh, now. What you want to do is, you want to jump from here Land um, I'm gonna show a few ways, the older one, easy one, is When you land, you start walking like this And then you still 1 HP, somehow dead almost Or So important is Go to the left one. I show it. Okay, now the guy is just having some weird pathing issues. But yeah, this is the the old way, and then you would get on it and then get away. But this is the current way where. Walk a little bit, jump into this, and this guy will, sometimes he dies here, sometimes here, but it's more optimal. No. It's this, you just have to like, play around this one. And like, just practice and practice. If the skidoo goes around here and not instantly here when you're doing a jump, the sequence will need to work. And he will turn around here and start driving this way. So you just turn around and shoot that thing. But each one of those you just have to play and play and play. Repeat. Here only hold up key. When you're going over the pit, you can randomly just jump and die. And here, go the way that you can hit here. Because when you jump, you land on the edge and you don't die. Uh, if you go here straight, you can run, like this is normal jump, but you can actually jump all the way down And then she explodes Hey woohoo I want to park it a bit closer. That's fine. <laughs> now, this one away, which is easy, consistent. You side flip, standing jump, and then running jump. You skip the trigger because the trigger is here, like these three. Now, uh, or you can just go against the slope and jump on here and then drop. That will skip it as well. Get up here. Good running jump. Late grab. Aim this little edge here. I use this as a visual. Uh, if you don't feel confident about it, you can go onto this edge. Sidestep right as many times as you can, like two times is the max basically when she turns. Hop back and swan dive. 
and uh, it's consistent one. You can never die. But yeah, if you fail this one, these two enemies and then one downstairs will spawn. But this is this is the easy one, safer. Jump, aim the little nipple, and then light grab. No, it's it's same speed. I would say, it's just uh, you lose control after you one die. Like there's no way to turn anywhere. But if you're going to left or right, it's over. Now take auto pistols. Do you want to kill the first bird? It's annoying. Jump. Jump. Late grab to cancel the stumble. Standing jump into running jump twist. You can kill that one. Hold upright. And then. I just. You just. You can learn to stop at the right spot. Basically, if you're here, you just take one step away. Again, aim at the corner and then um, you grab early instead of late. With late grab, it's easier to miss than uh, late uh, early. So late grab misses it early. No, misses. No, hold on. <laughs> late grab misses it easier than early. Holy moly, English is hard. <laughs> but swan dive can be actually slower because you will dive all the way to the bottom of the water pool it will take a little bit time she will initiate the uh, turn or you can you gain control So get this key. Uh -huh. Running jump. And then you can cut this corner, you can jump over it. Running jump. And this is something... There's like f three ways of doing it. First, I have a tutorial for this as well. You run off the edge at this line and then jump somewhere here so you would do like this sometimes you take damage sometimes not i'm gonna show the main ones or you just trigger it wait it out and go and then the most ancient one is just go wait and then just one dab over you can do use this one dive on both of these trick uh thing. Run. That one. And now this one as well. You want you can just stop here and then just one dive. So I think this one dive might be better on this one. Yeah further right or you roll just right after this corner Oops. and then uh, to do a running jump so like this the timing will work every time I'm gonna draw a flare here for showing purposes. And I'm gonna. Oh, okay, okay, it's okay. So you hold. You do. You go middle. Four running jumps. So one, three, four. And then standing jump. Okay, yeah, this is the old strand we do. But the way I started doing it is four running jumps. And then keep running and jump just before that door. Okay. 
you if you jump too early you will hit the uh, little bonk on the ceiling like super early and you can still make it but if you get the right uh, like like even earlier you will stumble and then the sequence all over all over and now the ladder mechanics you can jump two runs i think it's called runs right away from the top so this is one two and you can backflip off and then M16, walk. This is something you just have to practice. I don't even know how to explain it, honestly. Oops. Can I save? I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna try my best. You're asking so stupid questions, so may as well just stop. Um, here, like you're literally asking questions, which are like you can answer by your own if you have a brain. Backflip, standing jump, M16 walk. Um, I'm gonna show. If I walk, I like to jump before this line, like a white or like a light texture. Jump, jump. And then jump. The way this jump works is you jump just after this line and if you do that like that you can do a swan dive over and if you do it even closer you can literally land on the pickup um one thing is let's say you jump super late and you get stuck you just roll twice and then jump I alt her. It's okay, I'm gonna show it in one motion. Jump. This is a blind jump, like it's a bit tricky. And now this one. Uh, you can do roll. Running jump into stunning jump. Or turn a little bit and don't do running jumps it doesn't matter if you're hugging the uh, fire on that one you don't get set on fire for some reason yeah this game is my favorite one That is quite self-explanatory stuff right there. I'm not gonna even say what to do. Um, yes, the version matters. Um, Steam version is bad, you have to patch it. Even the disc version, you can patch it. But if you have a version called UK Box, that's the proper one. That's the fastest version of this game. Standing, a running jump in the jump twist. Uh -huh. Thank you. Running jumps. Come on.
Yeah, that just gave, gives us away. Like, I can see uh -huh. the account when they're made. Like, no one, no, not a new account is that active unless that's the uh, the same retard. So, Ryan jumps here. Remember to pick the main hall key, by the way. Either on the way there or on the way back. Oh. Don't jump on this uh, thing. <laughs> because the, the whatever the curtain stuff is like, they are just super solid. They have been hardened. Because they are ancient. Uh -huh. So here, you want to do a running jump after like one and a half step of tiles. And when you get in, basically at this line. Like this. And then the way back. Jump over the door, a door. Table. <laughs> Can't jump. Okay, here's a strat. I've I figured this one out. I'm gonna take the credit. You have M16, right? When you come through this door, a uh, tunnel, hold M16. Because if the monks are like this, they're walking away. Like from here, for example. You want to lock them, please. Don't shoot, but lock them. So you need to get them their help on this next area. So you would hold gun, lock them in place like that. You you want to have them really close as you can, like as close as you can to this area. Otherwise, it'll, this enemy will shoot you too much. Get this one. Also, this is unlucky. Really, really unlucky. If, let's say, enemy can die here with Uzis and you want to have Uzis, um, the run is not over really. If they are here, or underneath this little thing, little barrels. You can see it if you press F F7. You can see through them like a bit more. Like I'm inside of it, and you can still see the uh, the door, uh, the leg. Um, but if they are unobtainable, I would recommend picking this guy's ammo. Uh -huh. And then in catacombs, you would pick. Ammo as well for all the pistols. Um, now, when you come up here, when you do a running jump, this tunnel is so long that you have reaction time to see. If you can see these blades, you can make a decision if you want to YOLO it. Like if you, like, let's say I'm here and I see them go, I can just get past it instantly. It's like. It's nothing I can like really teach. And just learn it mostly. And here, yeah, there's no pack up Uzis, but you can still get through it if you pick auto pistol ammo. And I would say the Uzi pickup is only like 100% necessary if you're going for record. Let's just say that. So, this jump, jump, you have to start on this seam here, then it matches completely, like, might be too early, nope. Jump, don't, don't be like super close to the right side, like this is good, but don't be against it. Um, then your next one is standing jump, you curve a little bit right, hug the wall, and then when you land you run 
do a running jump to the left. Like this. If you're if you don't want to, you can ignore it. Get the pistols. And now when you shoot the window, if you jump just before this line, you can land the backflip twist under the item. It's actually precise. Or preci more precise than it looks. And there's a lot of visual based tricks in this uh, run, as you have probably seen. So, when you climb up, have auto pistols ready, because if this blue guy is alive, uh, he can kill monks, but this Uzi guy won't kill. So if this guy's al only alive, monks has to win. Like, there's no other way. If this guy is alive, monks can lose. So if this guy is alive, you can try to shoot him. Also, you, when you do the backflip twist off the ladder, you want to memorize where the medpack is. Like, which step or around where. So it will help on the next sequence. Yeah, you get to know if something goes wrong, you basically know why. <clears throat> uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So now I know he died on the left side, so I would run instantly. Because if you don't remember where this pickup uh -huh. is, because you want to pick this moment. If he dies here and you don't remember it, or you didn't pay attention, you will just lose like 4 seconds looking for it. Like, it's 4 seconds, but it's 3-4 seconds, if you just used your eyes and brain. <laughs> and when you get to the ladder, remember, not hold action up when you are turning. So, don't do like, weird ones. You don't want to do anything weird, any weird climb ups, like angled ones. Just get on it. Crap. Go all the way to the left, and then climb up. You can also go left after you get to that here. But you need to be all the way left, as, as far as you can. Standing jump. Now, you want to use her middle part here, with the corner, like, exactly in the corner. Not over at all, just exactly. And sometimes the camera is mispositioned, and it will kill you anyway. So, in the middle, this should work. Also, I need to show you something cool. Did you know that these eyes move here? <laughs> um, okay, this was off. <clears throat> so, the way you do this jump, you want to land all the way here. I'm gonna do this without buffer. You can see the camera change, right? The camera goes below. What you can do is buffer the first, like first frame of that um, camera. Take buffer. That's like two frames and like like right. If you can spot that camera. Not yet. Now you can grab. That's the one way of doing it. I don't like it because I, I somehow can't tell the difference between camera from up or down. So I do the same exact setup what did I did in uh, offshore. You can do the exact same flare setup as well. So it would like the guns would be one, two, three. And then you keep drawing them, and then hold action. And then you roll, jump, get 
get over here. And again, two rungs from the top, so one, two. The first one is just a backflip. Then you just backflip twist, a little bit to the right. And also, it will save you quite a bit of time over time. If you learn these ladders properly and you don't climb extra. And here you... Light a flare, backflip, and now there's few ways. You can do the uh -huh. easy strat, which is oops, roll off instantly, like get here, or uh -huh. roll off, and then you grab this. Drop, grab, roll, 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 and then use a flare. That's the easier way, but there's a faster way. When you do the back step, you can angle towards this corner here. And then what you want to do is run off, roll here, grab the ladder. Grab, drop. Um, here you want to be a little bit like this, you don't want to be here, you want to be here, like this one is the, probably the one of the best ones. So when you drop, if you are too close, you will go facing forward, but what you want to do is the outcome where she goes backwards like this. So. It will look like this. I missed the roll, but still good worked. And that's the way you... You can save actually 3 seconds or 4 seconds or something like really dumb just by doing that. Jump, jump. Jump, jump over. Now this sequence, you wanna go on the here right, little curve left. So this last running jump works. And when you hit this thing, you wanna jump between this and like here, like around this area has to be your next running jump to make this sequence good, right? This is all about consistency for a ball of sacks. So jump. Um, the trigger for the blades, I believe, is this tile or this one. But if you get past these tiles, there's no way to fix your sequence anymore. Like, it's not consistent. The running jumps. Running jumps. Also, land towards here. If you go to inside, let's say here, and you just spawn, your cycle is off already. And if you get blocked by a monk, even like a little bit, like quite actually, uh, you do three drawing jump on this tunnel. Three. Otherwise, it's two running jumps, okay? Alright, Zom, enjoy. So, this is not block, so that's just two running jumps. If I get blocked, you have to do three to catch up the cycle. Two. And now, where to jump from? I just use this one, like, I don't know how, like, there's, like, this darker spot here somewhere. I don't know how I can, like, see it. I can... It's just something. So, 
you jump on the right side one two three jump again go straight and three steps again if you jump too early like this you can just hop back and do it like it's not bad Here, stay on the left side. <coughs> if you're really, really left, like this, you can hop back onto the pickup. Uh -huh. If you're further, like here, you can backflip onto it and clip, get on it, jump. That's cool. cool. Run jumps. Now, if you want, and you can see... Uh, where's the other guy? Okay, this guy. If you can see this guy, when you're coming here, pick the grenades up. If you can't find him, don't bother, you will lose time. But if you can see it, and it's like easily taken, Take the grenades, it will help next level. But don't, like really, don't bother if you don't see them. Backflip, roll. And now you just do running jump, simple stuff. You can land on this and then jump off the uh, tip of it. You can land all the way. But if your sequence is off, it's like... Like that. Take M16, drop down, because your account is new and you ask something, you have been known, you said something about, let's see, where is this guy, here, messages, you said, DR3 is my favorite game, recent days, and your account is new, that means you are a twat. And ban evasion, so I think you have a good time. So running jumps. Kill this guy with M16. Hey, Inspector. Take a flare. With my route, I can take it. Actually, I should have skipped it now because I used one earlier. Which... This sequence is like so different every time. Just try to get under the pickup easily. Ooh. Land on the pickup. This is like super self-explanatory. So if you're low health here, the way you can avoid these guys is shoot them a bit and go right here. And then get past them. But if you're like high health, you can just go through them. And now this next jump. When you climb up on the middle, you can see this like a little dot after this uh, line here and you can jump over it without getting stumble if you jump too late or early you will bunk 
But you just early jump will sometimes get you through it. A late jump will never get you through it. Hey, William. You can do backflip twist into running jump, or what's faster actually is when you're on here, you turn this way, and then you can like instantly do it. Uh, what am I doing? I just want to get through this level. This one is a bit tricky one. You have to grab and then turn. You can hold action so the prompt instantly gives you the option to put the uh, prayer wheel in. Here, all you have to do is down, down right. Down right. Like, no. That's all. And the level is done. Uh, no. Avoid the spikes, obviously. Grab, standing jump. Sometimes you can fail that one. Uh, not there. <laughs> Alright, Aquila. You have a good time. I'm gonna show the outcome where she doesn't grab. Sometimes. I'm not gonna grab now, so if you land here, you just roll off the edge. If that happens. Take pistols and just pray that you don't get shit on by this guy. Too much. Anna TV. Cambodia. Um, shimmy all the way to the right. And jump twist, tap left midair. So jump twist, tap left, and backflip. If you don't tap left, you're going forward. You had, you wanna have a flare here. I'm not gonna use it now. Cancel that one. Don't draw guns there. Just trigger that camera. It will help you on the next part. Now you take a flare. Running jump. You wanna pick it up on a, on an angle like this, um, uh -huh. and then you can hold left down and do this outcome. Uh, if you don't wanna do that, uh -huh. you pick up the key when you come up here. You will just do this: pick up, crawl. Easy. Uh -huh. And then the part after this. You hold forward for two, uh, like a one and a half step, like this. But if you hold all the way, like uh -huh. when you run off the edge, you will die. I'm gonna save here as well. So if you hold all the way up, you will miss the uh, platform below. Proper. Stop before the edge, roll over edge, and roll. You wanna face forward when you land, but sometimes you go backwards. Uh, another trigger skip. If you jump too early here, you will trigger all these leopards. So avoid doing that. Jump really late to the right and avoid them. And again, here is another trigger skip. Let's see, if I go like normally, you can see how many, there's two, two behind, and then two more here. So there's six leopards, and you can skip four of them by jumping onto this and then running off. All you have to do is skip, trigger, uh, skip this one, jump over. 
So jump over. And this is RNG based as well. Uh, you wanna have the enemies near you, like this. This guy, especially. Like, if they go like there, that's bad. You want to have the pickup from the Uzi guy. So, if you don't see them, just roll here, you don't get stunned. You just kill them. And only pick this one up. Now, uh -huh. this is the pickup I was talking about earlier. If you had the Uzis underneath the table, you can pick this guy's water pistol ammo. So you have enough for... Xion. Jump over the slope. Again, you want to go all the way to the left here, because if you go here, you can see this uh, weird jumping animation. And even like here, like that, that's like slow. But if you go like very lo far left, it's the fastest animation you can do while climbing. And now, one of the better strats in this whole run. RNG again, like can be really annoying RNG, like not, it's not bad always. So what you want to do is pull this lever on the left side and take back step, one step forward, hold look, and when the Yeti start running on this step, like here, you start pulling lever three times. Go one, two, three, and then you roll after you get pushed. Now, it is RNG. How many Yetis you get upstairs? It can be all four, or it can be zero. And if you want to save, you want to save before you use the lever. Then the RNG can change how they path. And if you fail it, you don't have a save, you have to use the block like intended. Now, backflip twist, tur curve like really hard right and then jump onto this. It's important to land on these grenades. Um, straight up because otherwise you can get pushed around and lose a lot of health if you got the grenade i was talking about in barcane from that guy at the end of the level you don't need that pickup at all but that's a good one and also if you miss the running jump onto the pickup um don't leave there. Don't stay there and try to pick it up. Just ignore it and pick floating island grenades. I will show where they are. Backup ones. Now, this jump. You want to jump around here, like where the seam is. Here. And hold the walk. Go on the edge. And aim at this little pyramid here. Like this. Hop back. And you start turning right, right when Lara reaches her peak in the jump, and then late grab. Again, you can do a swing cancel where you let go. If you grab really close to this corner, you can't do it, or she will drop down. You're running jumps, it's faster than any other sequence. Back for the twist. Actually. I'm gonna show this one. This is uh, whatever you feel more comfortable with. If you have a flare you wanna use, 
You can do this trap where you jump all the way here, slide, and you just like. This is a bit sketchy because you have left parts, right? Or the faster one is jump from this corner to here. Now, what to do with this jump? is don't go near the pyramid because it will push you away weirdly and jump directly towards this corner or you can miss it easy uh it's important to hold up key even when you land to make sure she keeps going forward even if you land really close to the edge and one thing is if you start like clipping up and down all of roll it can save you so I'm gonna jump early. I'm gonna try to get the outcome. Early jump. Like that. You can recover from that by holding a roll. Doesn't work always. But sometimes. Try to think. Right on the edge, but yeah. Just jump late and hold up key and you will be fine. It's one of those jumps you just have to um, repeat like a good 20 times. Jump here. If you have a blinking health, you want to heal or use the ladder. Hit the corner there. But if you don't have a blinking health, you can do this fast trap. Yeah, this is going to be YouTube stuff as well. No. Shoot that one. Jumps. And you can hit this little corner. Shoot that one. Slide down. Um, you can do a running jump, like just here, and you land into the corner. Like this. If you overshoot. You can just like reposition yourself. You wanna be close to this springboard. Now the angle you wanna aim is the the bell. And obviously you don't wanna look up. The way I do it is like I aim basically towards this dark spot here. Draw guns and hop back. And just shoot. Jump down, grab cancel. Running jump and roll early on the springboard and then do that. Now, this is where there's few differences between what kind of landing you have. I'm gonna show them. So that's one good one. Also note to yourself that when you have guns, getting precise turns is way harder than actually doing this without guns. It's something you have to remember. So you roll onto this edge here, jump. Depending what outcome you have here is what you need to do. Now I didn't get the stumble. So the best one would be just go here, hop back and roll and then tap action. Get up. If you bonk. I can't bonk now. But if you bonk. I'm gonna try to see if I can. You would land somewhere here. And then you can just turn and roll instantly. Note. That this gate can block your roll. You can go backwards on other version of the game, I believe. As far as I know, this can get you going backwards on other versions. But on this version, you go forward. Tap action. Jump up here. Jump. 
if you are missing flares, pick those up. Remember to go on the left, uh, right side of this doorway, and don't, don't on, not on the left. It will, uh, it will spawn extra tiger. So kill those. All you have to do is land on that platform and roll off. And if you have done this level properly, and you don't take any damage from these enemies. You don't need a med pack on this level. Drop and then jump when the Lara hits the the white, like the snow part. Then you jump. That's like literally all you have to uh, know about that jump. Here, don't go too far left here because then you will like drop down and it's harder to make the curve or the corner. You go on the right side, then you can make it over the corner easier. Side flip. Uh, don't pick up the item like this. Because now the door can be uh, closed. But what you want to do, you would want to pick it up when you're on this tile where the shadow is for some reason the door doesn't open but you can fix it by going on that tile standing jump and climb up not on the middle actually did i save oh, i didn't save Yeah, the hack is just sometimes. I don't even all, always update it. I don't really do them. They are whatever runs sometimes. It's not like a big deal to me. Here. And jump when the snow thing is. There's the bits. You have the key or the Kong, ha Kong hammer. Try to avoid taking hits from the fishes. Oh, I don't hit. Well, I'm gonna shoot the other way anyway. So, standing jump. And then not almost in the middle, and you should never get hit there if you do it like fluidly. If that's if that's a word. Draw gun here. But the camera does not change weirdly. It's one of the worst camera changes in the game. Like it's super awkward. And now if you take if you didn't take any hits from the enemy, and all damage you took was the uh, the drop damage at the beginning. You can go for the normal drop, which is, I'm gonna heal for it so you can see it. Standing and jump into roll, not jump twist. So it's like this, grab the used Kong hammer. If you're like low health, like this is not enough for a drop, I would go like here. And jump down. You lose less health, but you also don't need to use a med. So fake drop, get on the slope, and then just hold left when you jump off. And that that saves a med pack. But if you have a spare med, you can just do this. Also, one more thing, if, let's say you do this backup strat, and then you randomly get over this here. Now, what you can do is go here and jump over, 
Or you can go here and then run on an angle and you can use the Kong hammer. Bonk. Um it's a backflip backflip twist. Um what well, how much health? Sometimes you can have like this much health, like very rarely. Then you do this jump, you have to land on this platform. But if you have like this amount, you can land straight up like down here. Uh -huh. And now the toxic chicken strat. Climb up a little bit from the left, like the, from the middle. Like this should still work. Jump, then just hop back against the wall. Shoot. Depending which way you get pushed, you turn. This one's left. And that's it. Easy peasy. Um, I'm gonna show the other strat you can do if you're comfortable with that. Because you can get killed. So you can do this. Go forward a little bit. Shoot. And then backflip when he gets close. And remember, the bird takes 67 shots with M16. So that's how you do it. Now running jumps, I'm gonna draw guns here so the camera doesn't change stupidly. Um, you wanna stay near these slopes and then not get that one. You wanna slope, like three slopes and then you wanna hold left. That's the best, best way, and the fastest one. This one. But if you clip, if you land on that little slope, it's fine. Just a little tiny loss. Like this. Then you have to just jump twist to the right. Um, oops. You know, move. If you lose, let's say this is good health. If you lose, like, let's say you have this amount of health. Like, already, like, 70% only left. You need to be careful with the spikes or later on on this level. So here, jump twist and hold right after the camera changes. So you get the grab here instead of like left hand here. And I'm only gonna use the easy strat here. So the easy strat is climb up, sidestep right, roll. And then four to six side steps. It probably works with more, but like you don't need four is the minimum. So you would do one, two, three, four. One right, and then you can save and uh, do the jump. If you save, let's say this, when the passport is closing, you can just hold upright already and do the running jump back, back, uh, running jump twist. If you don't save it, you can inventory and then close it and hold the right up like this. Or you can do holding a loop. It makes a very awkward camera angle. Or if you are just a manly as fuck, you can just hold it upright without any buffers. So I'm gonna actually show what to do when you get here. Okay, Tony Master, climb up and then jump twist and hold right and roll. And then you just get on the, the button. Now, there's other strength, which I don't recommend, but I'm still gonna include it. So it's one step forward, the right side step, and then three side steps. One, two, three, I think it was. Look, left, side step. Let go, hop back, and then 
Yeah, it is. Then you do a running jump. You have to tap left midair, and then right just when you land on the slope. So that's how you do it. It's really, really risky and hard. So I wouldn't recommend. Get Uzis. Kill that bird. If you need a backup med, you can grab this one. Uh -huh. Is it over? Yeah. Hit the ceiling there. If you don't have a good sequence, you can just be against the wall and running jump. And now, only tap action on the last one. So, like this. Draw guns. If you don't feel comfortable doing the jump while she aims the bird, you don't have to draw guns. Nah, and also, you can do this jump twist, kill the bird, jump twist, keep moving. But also, you can do where you ignore the bird, because he will appear later on where you can kill it. This is quite a lengthy run or video. I hope there's not too much nonsense. Now you can either roll into running jump left or you can like weapon turn and then back flip twist. This is muscle memory how you do this like I, I don't know how to explain it you just have to learn it. Jump late grab late so you crap a bit higher than normally. Climb up. Running jumps here. Now, I'm gonna show the easy one. You turn like around, kill this bird, and and then you just do the jump here. Shimmy the on the corner, turn, slide, flip, and get on the key. And you pop down, or you can do a back flip twist, and then you would do a running jump and jump up here. This is really risky, and it actually doesn't save time if you save. So if you're planning to save. Just go for this jump instead. But yeah. Let's say I'm going to do doing the easy strat. I will take a flare out already. Turn. And now this. This part as well. If you're, if you took more health, you were like, let's say you were at this part. What you can do is go to the left and then hop back. But remember, angle yourself. So when you drop, you are sliding backwards. Let's say you were here. Let's say here, backflip, like back hop, hold action. So you like drop on the slope like against the wall then action again and then hold up left and roll and you get down the quick quick win show it again this angle would be bad because I'm I would most likely go fo forward. So you're gonna be like this. Tap action, tap action, up left and roll. If you don't wanna use a flare there, you can just roll after landing. Down left, roll guns, back foot twist. And stay around the middle where these like a little dots on the ladder is. And you climb up this spot. You can tell two rungs from bottom of this, or like you can just see the see the difference, like a seam. Backflip, weapon turn. Here, 
Now, if you're really low health, you can do a weapon turn in the sidestep and then jump. Or what I would do if I'm like this health, I would do this. Just tap up once in that turn. And then again, backflip two runs from the top. Jump. Jump. <gasps> ah! Okay, the game really just stopped me. I didn't know how that didn't run off the edge. It's fine. When you climb up, I like to shimmy all the way to the left instantly. Instead of on the middle of the ladder. So. And now, the way I count, I start counting here when Lara's feet are, is, are on this level. So seven up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Grab. She grabbed one lower because you can see she went down before grabbing. Now you wanted to grab, uh, climb up three up. If you grab one higher, you want to do two. So one, two, three. And then jump twist. And here I want to tap look, but not anymore after this next camera change. You get here, and when you shimmy right, when you see the shadow on this slope, you can drop down and jump. And then shimmy one left. And I have no idea how many times you have to climb up here. You can see this rung is thinner than any any other one. Like this is really thin. So one below this, you do a backflip in the backflip twist and roll. That's the level. Now this if you step on this, there's one enemy spawning here. You don't want to be alive. So the way we do it is go here. Drop. Now, there's difference again. If you're not running a UK box, you would have to do this. There's jump. Or jump all the way inside the house, pull the lever, and then get down. But I'm actually I'm gonna show it completely. I mean, like fulliness. How it will look. This is only if you're not using UK box, but I don't see why you wouldn't use a UK box version. You would open the door. And a few ways of doing this. You can use a flare. If you have them. Drop down here, hop back and jump. Or you can do a jump off this corner with a leg grab on this uh -huh. pickup. <clears throat> uh, but now, now the UK box, you can save like 13 seconds or something by skipping that lever completely. Jump twist here, roll off, and you land right on the pickup. Uh -huh. Even if you overshoot the, the jump twist part, I'm gonna try to showcase how, how you can overshoot it like this. And you go backwards, you can still land on the pickup. Doesn't matter. Now, you can do delayed walk and jump here. Like where you start walking and jump really late over the edge. Or, you can just simply go on the here and then jump in this corner. Whatever you want to do. But like, yeah, if you wait facing forward, you would just, you just mirror the inputs like the delayed walk and jump. That's a really early jump, and barely made it. You can also grab this one, by the way. Very late grab, but it's only a backup if you know that you miss it. Otherwise, let's let's see. Like this one, this is super early. Will not mi make it. But by grabbing, you can save it. Okay. I don't want to have that outcome.
I wanna see. Okay, that's a good one. You wanna draw flare midair if you can, or whenever really. Get on this line. So on UK box, this door doesn't have a collision. It's just a texture, so you can go through it. Other version have the collision, so you can't just go there. Now when you have climb up, do a one running jump after this line, like somewhere here. And you can land on this pickup. Get this one. Angle yourself to the left a little bit. Tap forward once. And then standing jump. And then you can do the, the big jump. Mm. Now. This big jump saves a lot of time. You want to jump just before you hit the uh, edge. Or the, uh, the slope part. And then really late grab. And I would recommend saving for this one. Because it, these enemies can push you. But for some reason, if you don't want to do it, you can go. You can go this way. Intended way. And I'm gonna show you one more thing. So let's say you get this bad outcome where you stumble in the corner, but you get over it. Come on, make it. I wanna make it so I can show the uh, the difference between the sequences. Okay. Now, when you do running jump, running jump, you, could, you don't really land well, and if you hold up key, it's different. So let's say I'm here, so I would do a running jump and then delay a few steps and land right on the seam where the green texture is and then do a jump. But if you don't get the stumble, you, you like, okay, hold on. If you don't get the stumble, you get to two, two running jumps like straight away like this and then just hold up key and stop. Super simple. But that's again, difference in the sequence. Depending which outcome you have. This jump requires a lot of practice. Um, you can yell this jump, or if you don't feel like it, when you jump off the like... Say you wanna do it easy. Jump here. Also, you have to be on the right side. If you go... Jump here, like standing jump, you, you just land here and risk of backflipping instantly. So stay on the right side. Jump, hold, walk, tap up, uh, down. So you move backwards, or forward a little bit, I mean. You step backwards, but move forward. And then you do a running jump with a grab. And now you can do a straight up running jump with a grab, or you can use this little plat race platform where you don't need to grab. Simple. Now, there's a difference here as well. When you land, you can land right here, sidestep right, you get the right spot instantly, pep and turn, and then you don't need to delay your grab at all here. It's easy. And then you will go for this for first. It's this one, the second one. And then you go to the right one. But if you want to do the yellow one, land on the higher spot, you have easier time to make it. And then you have to delay the grab, and then you make this one first. And then you use this. A lot of the situational stuff. Depends what you are doing, really. Both keyholes. The sequence still says, uh, remains the same. Turn, two running jumps, a little bit off the post, and then just slide down and hold left. Roll, running jump. Um, when you get here, don't overshoot it like this. Oh, I still made it. I'm gonna show it. So let's see you. Oh, come on, can I just overshoot it once? 
like this. Even if you have to take one sidestep, you will take damage from this guy. Um, so if you, after you land it, you know that you have like this much health, you have to heal because you will get hit. But if you can get this lever like this, back for twist, you will not get damaged by this guy at all. Um, now don't use zip line. you can do it facing forward, right? Jump right at the edge of the slope. But if you don't feel comfortable, you can do a backflip twist. Uh, jump twist in the backflip twist here. To avoid saving. I'm just gonna show all the strats I know of these for these routes just because. I want people to uh, at least try them and then you want to climb up on the middle of these hold up an action it doesn't matter why she grabs if you're in the middle you can instantly backflip twist draw a flare now here's the uh, fun part if you want to do it walk on the edge tap right and then you can see this little dark spot here between these like light colors aim left of it like this hop back did i save i don't remember and then you start holding right just after she jumps and you can make it over this saves six seconds if you don't save so i wouldn't recommend it really because this requires a lot of muscle memory and it kills your run if you fail it at all like too early or too late turn, you will die. But okay, so normal route would be here. It'll flare cancel, climb up, weapon turn, then weapon turn again, tap flare key, and then jump over this stupid thing. I'm gonna show one more time. I'm gonna make this jump over here, just so I can show the uh, the strat for the jump before the zip line. So if you wanna yolo this, or well, you don't wanna yolo it, you can hop back here and do a running jump. You don't need to grab at all. Just go straight, and you don't, you make it with stumble. If you want to. Um, yellow this one you just use this little raised platform and jump late you don't get uh, stumble get on the zip line heal try to have at least 60 70 percent of health here when you get here jump flare turn and then Action again here draw a flare just before you're landing It's easier and if you pull this lever More left than the middle or right this jump is way easier Now my flare route has one extra flare So what I can do is Use it as a light for visual here. If you are good, you can f you can land on the pickup even without the flare of light. Oh, I can't. Uh, you can do a walk and jump in the swan dive, or you can just take two back steps and then swan dive. One dive again, you get the faster dive like all the way to the bottom. Turn left slightly faster. Lever. Make sure you are against the wall there. 
You want to do a jump and leap, bro. Right? And you can see this little line here. When you get to this point, you can do a standing jump. Jump here, roll. Standing jump into running jump here. The safest threat is to jump and then hold action and just do this. This is the safest one. But you can also do where you curve and turn around like that. Mm. Now you want to land right next to this uh, slope here. And I like to use, like, when I step on this one, then I jump. So jump, land, tap action, land here with flare, cancel, take M16. Nice. Okay, good game, by the way. And now, the way to do this is you want to land, not against this corner of the wall, just a bit off. But you jump, like, you can see this little... L. You jump from here into this, and then you you won't get hit by this guy. You can heal already if you have to. Thank you for that. Pull the lever, take Uzi's back tilt twist, and again jump twist, and then three back flips with one hop back there, and that will kill that guy. Take M16. Walk backwards. Kill that guy. And now, voila. Now, if you have spare ammo in Uzi, on uh, Uzi, Uzi's or auto pistols, you can kill this guy. He has a large med if you need. And also, if you are missing nades, you can get them on that corner. You need 10 for a dragon. And remember to not trigger any of these jade, jade shoulders downstairs. Except the ones we kill. We heal here. The way to do this is you can see three. One, two, three. And then you back the twist. One shimmy, one, two, three up, backflip twist, uh, backflip into grab, and then two up, and then backflip put backflip twist, hold right so you can land and grab the ladder, and then you take four up again and backflip, jump and hold left. That's the whole sequence. Jump from the edge. You don't need the flare here. Nice. And if you know you're low on meds, like I have seven large, one small, you can pick this up. And if if you want to kill this guy, I forgot to mention this earlier. <laughs> You want to not kill the guy in living quarters end with M16. I forgot to say that. I need to add something there. But If you want to kill this guy, do not kill the living quarter guy with M16 at the end. So, I'm gonna show how to kill this guy and then how to do it not without killing it. So you would go against this one. It takes like 40 to kill this guy. And you would take this, and you would run up here. This last guy takes 20 shots, so... Do this, and then you don't have ammo. But... Now we don't kill that guy.
Like the same principle hap works with the, gr the the item pickup anyway with this strat. Memorize how much ammo you have. So I have 52. So 20 is 32. Okay, now nice enemies by the way. This is like the worst by what? No way! What is happening? This guy is like completely deloaded. I've never had that one before. What? Why is it happening? So we walk diagonally. If you get pushed like that, you wanna go past the pillar. Like around the pillar and then get the pickup and get to the keyhole. If you don't get pushed left after killing, you can do like a hard right turn and then instantly kill, uh, pick up the item. Now I'm gonna do the uh, you can shoot if you have less, you just make sure you have 20 for the other guy and kill that guy with this. Because if you have to switch guns for this next, like the item guy, it can he can deload and you can't tell where he is or who he is. That's the bad part. Somehow I made it to the pickup. This level is something, it's so simple. But also, you just have to practice it. It's so random sometimes. Take a flare if you have one. Flare cancel. Take a grenade launcher, put it away. Hop back on the middle and then aim corner. There's no reason to start turning and try to adjust with the shot uh, holding grenade launcher because it takes us ages. Sometimes you can miss the angle anyway. You don't lose time by not holding the grenade launcher and aiming. Get the pickup, get the dagger or whatever. Start with standing jump, it's important. And then curve here. So the fire doesn't get you. There's random fire which can set you on fire. So if you start with standing jump, you should never stumble here. And the last level, the most toxic one. You wanna hold look or tap it when the camera changes up outside. Turn around, like turn a little bit back for the twist. Get to this keyhole. Now, I'm gonna do two match strat. One match strat is important, like hard, but manageable if you practice. Save here. If you take, let's take the two mats. Jump over. By the way, I forgot to show it. Nope, I don't want that pickup. I just want the large. Oh, I forgot to show. If the window doesn't break, you can break it by going. Sometimes the window doesn't break like this. Okay, this is perfect, honestly. The wrong window, like, literally breaks. Right? You can sometimes break it like this. Like, back against the window, you can break it. That's how you fix it. <laughs> I don't know why. It just works. Jump over here. Now you want to kill one dog and one pistol guy up here. You can like look diagonally, you can see them further away.
if they run away, you still have to like just wait them. You, you just can't leave them and come up here again. Like it will lose like five minutes if if you leave them. You just have to try to change them. They will turn around eventually, but this is high RNG level. Okay, now one thing which is important, especially if you're doing one med strat, but when you're arriving this area, if you can see any pistol guy, it's amazing. Because it will f mean that you have really good RNG. So if you, if you can't see any pistol guys, there can be a maximum of two guys running around. And if both of them are running around, kill them and you don't have to go inside the house once. This pistol guy doesn't count as one of them. Though. This is set spawn here. Okay, I have one here. So this means only one. What is this RNG? This is unbelievable, by the way. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. But okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna kill that guy yet. So if you get here, you kill these guys here, like the dog and pistol guy. There's one usually one club guy. Shoot at once, don't turn around. Run up here. Remember, one dog is coming from the house almost every time. It can be usually around the corner. So you, if you're really low health, you just wanna hail preemptively. Um, but there's two guys inside, and now they were outside, so I don't need to go inside at all. But if they are, Run up here, kill them. Sometimes one of them camps in, in the kitchen or even somewhere all the way back here I've had. And it's just horrible. And after that, you get out and then you kill the guy from the car and this guy here. That's that require like that's the, the strat. If you can't see any pistol guys. Ignore the outside guys now, and just go straight up inside and kill them. That's it. Oh, that's it. And then you can do a quick turn. Do... Just where is this guy? Come on. Okay. You, you get the target off and then go back to it. It's a bit difficult, but that's about the game. Hopefully it helps at least one piece, one person. <laughs> Boink. GG. There's a lot of small things you have to learn. GG. I will add some links to a description about like more detailed stuff for Bar Barcane Boulder Skip, for example, and Living Court Jump, Double Pickups, and stuff like that. Okay, so it's on. I said I would do it like a month ago, so I did it finally. <laughs> hey, Bonganada. Two oh nine.